good morning guys and welcome back to my channel so just we're going to be doing a few mods on the Land Cruiser today just simple ones just to get them out of the way I'm going to be chucking on some Jerry's from Proquip along with the lockable holders I'm pretty excited for that that's going to put my total fuel capacity up to about 130 liters um, jerry cans are good because you can sort of put them in other things like whether you take a quad um, or anything like that or someone else needs fuel I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, of course. Because you get to have the beers. Good to go. Alrighty, so I'm just going to put some rivets in this end toolbox because the spot welds have actually come apart. I've just cut up some rubber strips with two holes in them so they're gonna go behind the jerry can holder and also underneath just to stop metal on metal. I've gone to Bunnings and got these security bolts. I'm padlocking the actual jerry can holder closed and a lot of people said oh you know people can still siphon out fuel but this is more to stop theft of the actual jerry can and of the jerry can holder. We've got a silicon cover, so again, they're going to stop clanging. Alrighty, so just marked out mounting holes. I thought I'd actually show you these holders. So these are the pro clip ones. So I'm just going to stick a padlock through this top loop here. And they've got little rubber backing so the actual jerry can's not going to rattle around too much and they are on the inside here as well as the side wings as well. They got recess mounting holes as well as on the back. So just going to stick that rubber mat in in behind there as well we're just going to space it out a bit and hopefully we can sort of pull it in a bit tighter these are the Proquip super cans and they're super because <laughs> they just screw off and they have the screw on lid and the screw on spout which makes it super easy because the amount of times that I've been pouring out of a jerry can and something isn't sitting right or it doesn't go in the correct way Sorry, it's a bit windy, just chilling with my can. Yeah, so the amount of times that it, it'll it just come out and I'm just it'll just go everywhere. I'm blonde sometimes, so don't judge me. So I think this is an awesome idea because it's so simple. In my last video where I said the plastic, I like the plastic because it was so much lighter, but in comparison, they're, they're not that different. So both filled up with diesel. I struggled to really notice the difference. That was a, another one why I never had metal jerry cans. I had the plastic because I would just tie them down to somewhere on my tray and the metal ones would have just clung, clang around. But with the holders, um, you know, they've got their spot and they're not really moving at all, which is good. So these are the super can spouts. And as you can see, they just have a threaded plastic end and a little breather hole. So that one's just got to sit at the top to let the air escape. Anyway, so it's flexible and there's a little gauze filter just on the in the end of that one as well. Like that's simple. <laughs> it doesn't get any more simple than that and I love simplicity and I love things that can be made easier. I had a bit of a chat on my Instagram and the highlights still up if you want to go check it out just on my page my sort of stand on a woman can wear whatever she wants and she shouldn't be disrespected for that or her knowledge should ever shouldn't ever be questioned for because of that but there's always that two percent that just go nah if you know be wearing this crop top that cheapens my work and 
you know it's distracting and you're only after one thing and you're getting the attention but if I wanted to get just attention if I was here just for attention this is not how I'd be doing it this is a lot of effort to just get attention a million pages over on Instagram that are purely just people posting up photos of themselves every single day there's no real context to anything there's no depth to any of their posts it's just purely for likes and and that's it which is fine if that's what you're using social media for go for gold where I'm sort of trying to show the opposite that there is actually a little bit more to me than just what I look like on the outside and I'm purely just wearing crop tops because it's hot it's probably like 30 degrees right now at least I grew up doing gymnastics so you wore leotards and that's pretty much a swimsuit like you get major wedgies from those things and you just learn to be comfortable wearing crop tops and little shorts or a leotard which rode up your butt and you just got comfortable by doing that and it's just not even something I consider anymore to be inappropriate or anything if you think about the fact like if I had size A cup boobs it probably wouldn't be that big a deal but I can't help that I don't have size A boobs I don't know I think I'm just rambling now but either way I think everyone should try a little bit harder to just be accepting of, of someone else. And I'm not out here trying to get your attention with crop tops. I'm here to show you guys how to do things. And it shouldn't matter if I'm wearing a work shirt or if I'm wearing a crop top like I am now. Women struggle so much <laughs> with body confidence and being assured of who, the, who they are. Last Christmas, I posted a photo on one of the Land Cruiser pages of me standing on my car because I'd just finished putting all the tinsel on the bonnet and stuff so my sister took a photo and it's just me standing and I had a knobby sports bra on that Christmas one and shorts and we were just going to family like lunch at my auntie's house and I put it up and there was a heap of support and everyone saying Merry Christmas and you know well I don't think it was Christmas it was some like day before or something I'd been a part of that page for a really long time and a lot of the people on there have given me a lot of advice and that's sort of where I learnt a lot of things when I first got my car. So I thought I'd just put up a post and say Merry Christmas everyone blah blah blah. Anyway this girl jumps on and she's, I think she's a mechanic and she, <laughs> and she has Land Cruisers and she hopped on there and said attention seeking much or something along those lines and I just couldn't believe it that someone has gone out of their way to say something like that to someone they don't even know. And it's not on my page that I'm a mechanic or anything like that. So, you know, she just saw a girl in a crop top standing on her car and assumed that I'm just seeking attention. I don't need attention. I can't keep up with my emails and stuff as is. I don't need any more, okay? Um, I thought it was just a nice thing to do. I just couldn't, girls are the worst for shutting each other down and body shaming and making each other feel guilty for what they post. And if one girl has confidence in herself, you know, normally it's the girls that don't have confidence in their own skin who are the ones to tear down all the other women. I have no idea why women do that. It's horrible and I don't know. And someone made the point if it was a guy next to his car and there's about you know at least a hundred posts on that page of just a guy without a shirt on near his car working on his car standing on his car being stupid there's people there's guys on there mooning in front of their cars and you know i don't think any guy has ever been called attention seeking for that not seriously anyway and that i think is is the thing that needs to change. Anyway, my beer's going hot because I've been talking for so long. Ugh, foamy beer. <laughs> One done. I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> That doesn't look very level. Up it. Come on. Quite a bit.
is all going a bit too smooth. Fair food in for the rubbers on the top. Oh, fuck! <laughs> rubber. Don't forget your rubber. That's right. That's how babies happen. Yeah. Where's me whooshes? Jerry time. Quite right, thank you. I like to be center of the attentions. Look at you. Yes, yeah, so that video was actually filmed quite a while ago when it was it was hot. It is uh, nice and chilly, or chilly for North Queensland anyway. So I thought I'd just show you how the cans have been going, and I'll also insert a video where they actually saved my butt because I decided to push my fuel capacity limits and see how far it would go until it ran out. Hey guys, so I'm just stopped on the side of the highway. The cruiser has run out of fuel, so this is an experiment to just see how far past the E it actually runs out of fuel, so now I know. Alright, so thankfully I've got the ProClip Joes and with the breather hole they empty in about two minutes, so the cruiser's all filled up. Oh, 20 litres at least. So that's not what they're on there for, but <laughs> obviously it does come in handy. So this will allow me to know when I run out of fuel so it doesn't ever happen again. And now I'm going to go prime the fuel filter and just bleed some air out of the system. I pretty much pulled over as soon as it started lagging. It just sort of feels like you get hit with a big wind. Um, and it drops back and then you just lose all power and then I pulled over. So I'm just going to prime the fuel system and then we're going to try start it. Anyway it ran out <laughs> but I had the Jerry's full um, for that very reason so they are handy to have and they have been on there pretty much this whole time. Uh, it's been a few months now so I haven't taken them off, I probably should because when I'm not using them, but then that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm leaving them on. The only things that I've really noticed have changed is the sticker on the front fade, but it's North Queensland. <laughs> Everything fades. <laughs> so that that's just me. I park my car in the sun. It's in constant sun the whole time. Don't have any shade. So I'll give you guys a look. It's just really that label that has faded other than that everything else is perfect all the the mounting and the rubber in behind has been really good pro quip water jerry the plastic one which i already had and i tried to see if it would fit in it, it does <laughs> um probably wouldn't do it for long periods but it 
I just put it in and open all the caps so the air can sort of squeeze out and then just fill it up. And that works really well. So we're gonna go camping, I've got 20 litres spare fuel and 20 litres water. All in all, they've just been a really great addition. I have also found out since filming that, that you can buy lockable screw top caps. So yeah, I believe it's super cheap who sells the lockable cap. So if anyone was concerned about siphon, people siphoning, then you can get lockable caps as well. But that's just too many keys for me then. <laughs> but yes, other than that, they've been um, really, really wonderful. So definitely go and check out ProQuip. Anyway, if you enjoyed this uh, video and you're enjoying seeing the mods that are getting done to the cruiser rather than just uh, photos, definitely let me know because I have a lot of footage of, of things that I have modded and you know, most of it's already done and you can go and look at it on Instagram, but you know, just to see how everything's done and how things actually happen. I don't know if you guys want to keep seeing that or not. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video.